Lebanon has been without a president since May 2014, when former president Michel Soleiman's mandate ended. And since then, the country's main political factions have failed to reach an agreement over who will be Lebanon's next leader. Lebanon's main political blocs, the March 8th Alliance and the March 14th Alliance, have each put forth their own preferred presidential candidates, but the parliament has failed to successfully pass a vote 37 times. The March 8th Alliance is a Shiite-dominated alliance, and the March 14th Alliance is Sunni-dominated, but both political blocs represent Lebanon's Christians. This is important because according to Lebanon's sectarian political agreement, the country's president is necessarily a Maronite Christian. Hezbollah is not just a militia group, it is also an important political party in Lebanon, which serves as a leading force within the March 8th Alliance. As a political party, Hezbollah seeks to support the organization's broader agenda, which is to bolster its Shiite regional alliance and maintain its capacity as a militia force. Hezbollah has supported the presidential candidate who it feels will best achieve its objectives, and therefore has consistently supported General Michel Ayoun, who for about a decade has served an important role in popularizing Hezbollah among Lebanon's Christians. In fact, even when the March 14th Alliance switched support from a member within its own bloc to a member within the March 8th Alliance, Hezbollah still held strong to its original presidential pick of General Ayoun. The Lebanese political crisis is closely related to heightened tensions between Iran and Saudi Arabia. While Hezbollah is supported by Iran, leadership within the March 14th Alliance is supported by Saudi Arabia. In the past, Lebanon's political solution has been to choose a consensus presidential candidate. But current geopolitical dynamics, including the war in Syria, make it more difficult for a Lebanese president to maintain absolute neutrality. As a result, an understanding between Iran and Saudi Arabia will likely be necessary in order for Hezbollah to agree to a consensus presidential candidate.